Walk down the hallway of a children's hospital. You recognize a little boy. You remember that he once had soft curly hair and a precious smile on his face, but that is not what you see right now. He is curled up in his seat, weeping in his arms. As you move closer to him, he looks up at you, revealing his shame. He was diagnosed with cancer when he was six years old and has gone through several chemotherapy treatments, which have made him lose all of his hair, leaving him bald without eyelashes or eyebrows. When you see the pain in his eyes, you realize that you want to help an organization that donates hair to these kinds of children. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to donate your hair to an organization called Locks of Love. Locks of Love donates hair to children who suffer from permanent hair loss. If you plan to donate your hair, you should make sure that it is healthy and well maintained. I have my, maintained my hair healthy for the past four years by not using heat on my hair that often, by not using chemical dyes, and most importantly, by using Herbal Essence's long-term relationship shampoo. When preparing to get your hair cut, you should make sure that it is clean and completely dry. It must be in a ponytail or in a braid before it is mailed in. Using a thin straight comb, I will have my friend Marnie part my hair in the back in a straight line. You want to make sure that it's straight so that your hair is even on both sides. Once your hair is evenly parted, you should comb it through with a brush to make sure you get rid of any knots. Once you are done combing your hair, you want to put it into two ponytails. I would suggest using these small rubber bands, which are the same texture as a regular rubber band. The reason you want to use these is because they grip onto your hair easily and they also help you when trying to accurately measure your hair. Once you are done, once you are done wrapping your hair, you are then ready to begin measuring your hair. The minimum requirement for a hair donation is 10 inches. I have a pre-cut 10 inch ruler. The way you should measure your hair is you should place the ruler at the bottom of your ponytail. Then, you should pull the hair tie down until it reaches the bottom of the ruler. Then, you should do it to the same side, making sure that it is even to the next one, so that when you cut your hair, it is even on both sides. Once you are done measuring, you are ready to cut your hair. Hair salons use professional scissors. Today, I will be using professional scissors that can be purchased online for about $269. Once you are ready to cut your hair, you should place your fingers right above, directly above your rubber band, making sure that you are holding it nice and tight. Then, you should begin to cut, making sure that you are cutting in a straight line. If you are doing this at home, it is recommended that you do it in front of a mirror so that you make sure you are cutting it in a straight line. If you did not cut it straight, however, it's okay because you can always go to a hair salon afterwards to get it straightened out. Most hair salons give you a complimentary haircut afterwards so that you can help get a better style and look. Once you are done cutting your hair, you are then ready to begin the mailing process. When you begin to mail your hair, you should place the two ponytails into a Ziploc bag. Then, you should fill out the hair donation form, which can be downloaded from the website at www.locksoflove.org. Once you are done with these two steps, you should place them into an envelope, making sure that you are mailing them to the correct Locks of Love address. Also, you want to make sure that you have enough postage to send it from wherever you're from. Within 60 days of your donation, you should receive a Certificate of Appreciation. This certificate is also given to those who make financial contributions to Locks of Love. Also, Locks of Love highly, highly appreciates videos and or photos of your donation. If you send in a video of awareness, they will post it on their website, as I plan to do so today. Some of us may take our hair for granted and not realize what it can do to a cancer patient. Now, that little boy that was crying in a seat is the happiest boy in the world because his wig has brought back his self-confidence. I hope that some of you will also donate your hair so that you can make a difference in a child's life.